In this quick tip, we will look at how to generate new rows using Tableau Prep Builder. There is a functionality in Tableau Prep Builder that allows us to generate new sequential rows based on integer or date fields. I've created two sample datasets so we can demonstrate two use cases. These records are derived from the Superstore dataset. I purposely used only a handful of records so we can see the effect of generating rows more clearly. For the first use case, let's say we need to display our order count on a daily basis, regardless of whether we have orders that day or not. If we take a look at this dataset, it looks like we have a couple orders on January 3rd, no orders until January 12th, and then no orders until February and then March. So we are definitely missing some days. Let's connect to this first dataset in Tableau Prep Builder and let's take a look. So let's drag this table over and let's just add a clean step so we can preview the profile. Let's preview this in Tableau Desktop as well so we can see what we can generate out of this original dataset. So let's right click on the clean step, preview in Tableau Desktop. So right now, if we were to generate a daily order count, we will have some challenges because we don't have daily records. Tableau cannot display data that isn't there. So let's right click drag order date, use discrete date, and let's count the order ID. Right click drag order ID and use count distinct. So we can only see January 3rd, January 12th, February 4th, and March 5th, but any days in between, we cannot report a zero. Let's go back to Tableau Prep Builder. So let's insert our new row step, hover over the line, click on the plus sign, and select new rows. For the first use case, we are simply going to generate values based on the order date. We are going to fill in the gaps just for order date. So we're going to keep the first selected option and we're going to select our order date field. Also notice that in this dropdown, it only shows date or integer fields because those are the only ones that are supported for generating sequential new rows. So let's select order date. Let's scroll down. The other options that are available is we can set our start or end date, or we can base this on the value of our data. We can also decide to update the existing field or generate a new field. In addition, we can also specify our increments. It doesn't have to be every single day. It could be on a weekly increment or a monthly increment. We can also specify if we want every single value or if we wanted to skip any of the values. Perhaps we only wanted to generate every seven days or every 30 days. For the new rows that are going to be generated, we can also specify the values. They can either be null, null or zero, or we can copy all the values from the previous row. On the right-hand side, we can see a preview of what is going to be generated. So it shows in here that out of the three original order dates, we are going to generate 58 new ones. If we're happy with this, we can go ahead and generate another preview. Let's take a look at the difference now. Let's right-click, Preview in Tableau Desktop. So now let's right click on order date, display all individual dates. So this is already a drastic difference. We have way more records at this point. So let's display the order counts. Right click, drag order ID and select count distinct. So right now we can display our daily order counts, whether or not we have orders that specific day. Let's now take a look at the second use case. For this scenario, Let's assume we allow monthly installments for our orders and we expect monthly payments. Therefore, we need to create a report or a dashboard on this. Again, we are going to have a challenge because Tableau cannot display data that isn't there. So we can use this new row step to fill in the blanks. Let's connect to this in Tableau Prep. Let's drag the second input over and let's preview this first. Let's maximize this. So we can see in our grid view that we have an order date and we have the number of months to pay. We want to generate a row for every month that we're expecting payment. So in this case, we need to calculate an end date first. So let's create a calculated field first. Let's call this end date. And we are simply going to add the number of months to the order date. So date add, date part is month. 
and this is going to be the number of months to pay and we're going to add this to the order date let's click on save so in here we can see an order date as well as an end date let's change the data type as well so this is simply just a date otherwise the new rows functionality will not be able to pick this up so on the drop down make sure this is just a date now that we have these two fields, we can generate a new row now. So on the plus sign, new rows. And this time we're going to generate values based on the range of these two dates. Let's select the second option. So the start field will be the order date and the end field will be the end date. Let's call this scheduled payment date. And the value increment is month because it's monthly payments. We're also going to copy all the original values in the new rows. So in here, what values should your new rows have? We're going to set this to copy from previous row. So now let's add another clean step and preview this in Tableau Desktop. Okay, let's validate this. Let's first move number of months to pay to dimensions. Let's display our order ID, our order date. So right click, drag order date, display discrete order date and let's display number of months to pay. Now let's take a look at the scheduled payment date. Right click drag scheduled payment date and select discrete date. Now there is a little bit of an issue. If you take a look at the first order ID, the number of months to pay is two. However, we are displaying three scheduled payment dates. And the reason for this is because of the settings we chose in our new rows step. Let's go back. In our new row step, we have selected order date is less than or equal to end date. Let's click on this. Unfortunately, at this point, we cannot specify a different operator. So to correct this, we can simply go back to our clean step and remove where the order date is exactly the same as our payment date, because usually we don't expect the payment to come in until the next month. If your business rules are different, then you can simply filter out based on your business rules. So in this case, let's go back to the clean step. And in here, we're going to simply filter the values where the order date is not equal to the scheduled payment date. Let's save this and let's do one last check. Right click, preview in Tableau Desktop. Let's try this again. Move number of months to pay to dimensions. Let's display the order ID, number of months to pay, and the scheduled payment date. And now we can see it's been corrected. The first order ID two months to pay, there's only two corresponding records. And that's it for this quick tip. There are a lot more use cases that can benefit from the new row step, and this is just a start. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you again next time.